So I like to think I used to be an athlete. And like all athletes do, even though they hate to admit it, we like to relive the glory days. So in honor of that, I'm going here, the NCAA Hall of Champions, where I can learn about all 24 collegiate sports and, of course, see if I still got it. But before we do that, of course, I need you to like, subscribe, comment, and get your easy apparel at shopeasyapparel.com. That link is always in the description. And well, let's see if this washed up 26 year old still has it. So we are here at the museum. I just came out of that theater. It was a little presentation, which was actually kind of cool because I saw my old athletic director in there. But Drake University, as you can see, did make an appearance in that video, which I was not expecting, but I thought was pretty cool. I'm in the main area. It's got exhibits for each of the 24 sports. It starts starts with the uh, history of women's athletics, which is pretty cool. They each have this little interactive board right here, but I can go through the history, as you can see down here. So let's go all the way up to, let's see what they got here, 2020. And this one, Tara Van Devere, I believe it is. Actually, fun fact, I met her at a Drake basketball game. Um, they posted about it on their social media. They said that we wanted a picture with her, but she wanted a picture with us. So let's get those facts straight there. <laughs> but she is the winningest Division I women's college basketball coach in history. And let's get it right. She wanted to take a picture with us, not us wanting to take a picture with her. So ha. <laughs> All right, this is kind of cool. They have the first ever basket for basketball. It's a literal basket as you can see right there and then the ball just looks like a round football because it has laces on it. Here's them playing. They actually had to have a guy on a ladder get the ball out after they scored which is pretty funny. All right as you can see I found the football exhibit and you guys know obviously you saw the clip in the beginning I played football in college. We have a Mount Union helmet right here and for you guys who don't know they're a division three team and they're a really good division three football team. I mean really really good. Probably could beat some D2 teams and honestly probably beat some D1 teams as well like they are a very good D3 program. But they also have their interactive thing. Let's see what they got here. Teams. Ooh, let's see if we can find Drake. Let's see if if Drake is listed in here. It looks like it should be see here FCS scroll down to the D's Campbell played them oh Davidson they're good now oh, here we are Drake University that's where I played ball out shout out to the Bulldogs the real Bulldogs right, I'm at the track and field section and I just thought this one was cool actual hammer ball for the hammer throw right down here and you might be saying Aaron why is this significant I kind of have a sister who's kind of a stud at all things throwing in track and field probably could have went to the Olympics but sadly got injured but hey yeah another fun fact about me my sister was kind of a prodigy at this sport thing I like about this whole thing is that this museum could easily just praise the big schools, praise your power fives, but that gives love to the smaller schools. All the exhibits have stuff from D2, D3 um, schools. It's not necessarily all just division one. I. I can appreciate that being that I played at a smaller school. Okay, so this definitely seems to be the more interactive uh, part of the museum, which is kind of cool because I'm definitely going to interact with all this stuff. I'm about to do a uh, little interactive game with this football here. I'm gonna do the two minute drill. I'm gonna lead my team down. We're gonna win a championship here, baby, all right? All right, I'm here to give you the play-by-play, -play, guys, and obviously that first throw was an absolute dot, but my receiver doesn't have hands, and he dropped it. Of course, throw it to the same receiver, and he has put a fingers, and he drops it again. That's okay, we regrouped. I throw it to him again, 12-yard gain. I'm celebrating right there. I'm starting to heat up right here. He catches a 12-yard pass on a hitch route, and here we go, 30-yard bomb down the sideline, right out of the shoulder. What a beautiful catch. Steph Curry celebration right there. And then, of course, my stupid receiver runs the wrong route. Out. I'm demoralized. I throw a pick. Game over. I'm switching sports. All right, we're on to soccer now. We're doing penalty kicks. First kick, thought I made it, but here's my realization when I realized I hit it off the crossbar. Second kick, same result, off the crossbar. Just disappointment. Third kick, I tried to make an adjustment, go upper 90, and just, it was a bad idea. I completely missed. Fourth kick, though, I really thought I made this one, so I hit the C, and then I realized the goalie made an absolute amazing save here. But the final kick I put right in the back of the net, and this one's for Ronaldo. Here we go. So as you guys see, I suck at soccer, but I think there was something wrong with that because I was hitting that thing in the left side of the net every single time, but it kept saying I was hitting it off the bar. So I don't know about that. This is probably the coolest part of the museum. It's got this old style gym right here. You got the basketball hoop behind me. You got some basketball so you can play basketball on this old court. And then on the floor is actually really, really cool. So on the floor, they have spots down here. You can see right there. 
for famous shots that have been taken throughout you know NCAA basketball history um, and it's actually pretty cool so we got the famous shot that Michael Jordan took with 17 seconds remaining to lift North Carolina to a national championship over Georgetown now they could have did without this one because I'm a Kentucky fan and this is just disrespectful at this point point. and if you are a Kentucky fan you know we hate this man right here I'm not even gonna say his name because he does not deserve that respect but he hit a turnaround jumper as time expired Duke edges over Kentucky 104 to 103 and goes to the national championship. I wasn't even born when this happened. It's like rule number one of being a Kentucky fan. You hate this dude. But I'm gonna put up some shots from some of these spots back there, see if I can make them. Don't judge my jump shot. Let's just say there's a reason I played football, okay? Back at it again with the play-by-play -play, and your boy was balling. First shot, top of the key, nothing but net. Let's go to the wing, all good there. Third shot, all good there. Four shot, I'm starting to feel it a little bit, so I got in my Steph Curry bag, and here we go, no look, can I do it again? Yes sir, no look with a pose, and I guarantee you I didn't miss any shots before this. That's enough of that. You guys get the point. I can't shoot a basketball, but somehow I'm still better at shooting than Ben Simmons is. But anyways, that's the vlog, guys. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and get your easy apparel at shopeasyapparel.com. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.